Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, um, if you got on the news and the headlines read 150,000 people are dead, wouldn't that shock you? And Well, of course that will shock you if you know 150,000 people are dead. Well, that's exactly what's going on each and every day. It is estimated that over 150,000 people die every day. This number is no joke and one can only wonder how many people from this number will make it to the kingdom of heaven. That's crazy and what's even a... What's even a bigger tragedy that what's even a bigger tragedy than death is that when a person dies and his or her soul does not make it to heaven that's that's an even bigger tragedy than a person dying God doesn't want us to, God doesn't want to see a single soul perish um uh, also I understand that from the 150 50,000 estimated people dying there are also children children and mentally challenged people that are not going to be held up for judgment so once we take away their number from the list the number of humans that are still going to face the judgment is very great very great and with the rate of apostasy attacks on christianity from the muslims to the new atheists and it is very re reasonable to assume that the 150,000 not many souls from the 150,000 number are are going to make it into the kingdom so so the Bible, remember, the Bible is persistent in declaring that a person needs to repent of his or her sins. And if you're not sure whether your family members made it to heaven or not, do not be discouraged. Make sure you secure your eternity with Jesus Christ. Just because you don't know where your family is in the after afterlife, it doesn't mean that you should you should be unsure about where, where, the, where you're going. You see what I'm getting at here? And... Every day you wake up, it, there's a it, it's a new possibility. It's so is it, every day you wake up, there's a new possibility that you can be part of the hundred fifty thousand people that die every day. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior right now. You're not guaranteed any more time. You could anything can happen. Admit you are guilty. Admit you are guilty of your sins. Confess your sins. Turn away from your sins. Ask God to give you the strength to live an upright life. You might think you might think that. It might be hard to overcome your addictions, but with God's blessings, you can trust me. You can overcome them. Don't don't underestimate His power. He performs miracles. He performs signs. He performs wonders. Whatever you may be struggling with, ask God to help you to overcome your struggles. Remember, hell is a real place. I have some hell testimonies in the description box of this message. That should that should give you a taste of what hell is like. If you don't know what hell is like. Don't let the devil and his demons have your soul. God created your soul and he wants to see you back in the kingdom of heaven. And also, do not believe in the lies. Some people say that hell and heaven are actually on earth. And some people say you can create heaven on earth if you want. Go tell the starving children in Africa that they can create heaven on earth. That's simply ridiculous. God is good and God is great. To think that a child who was born into poverty and died of starvation... And to think that that child is not going to get a, ch a chance for heaven, I mean, that's just crazy. So what you're telling me, that child that was born into pro poverty and that child died, that's it for them. They're not going to get, that's it. They're not going to get 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 a taste of the good life. That's That's crazy. To have that kind of reasoning is simply ridiculous. We live in a corrupt and fallen world. Don't be so caught, caught up in this temporary home we call the planet Earth that you throw away all your eternity. This life comes and then it goes. Your afterlife is what it what does not end. If you get right with Jesus, you will be in eternal bliss in the afterlife. If not, eter eternal torment is what awaits you. Every day you wake up is a new day for repentance. Some people live over eight decades thinking they are a good person, but they are so caught up in the world and they don't repent. They're caught up with their job. They're, they want to retire and they're, they're so caught up in trying to marry their kids and when these people they could have have gotten right with God and they could have repented every human being is guilty of sin we're all guilty and every single human being needs a savior we all need a savior if you do, if you if you do not believe that God exists earnestly pray to him say God I'm hearing talk about your existence please God reveal yourself to me I don't want to miss out on your love I don't want to miss out on your blessings I don't want to miss out on your path of sal on your path of salvation Ask God for a sign, asking for a wonder, asking for a miracle, asking for a vision, asking for anything you would like that's going to prove to you that He exists. Seek God and you will find Him. He will pour out, pour out His love towards you. 
Ask him to show you heaven, ask him to show you hell. If you think the universe with all its beauty, all of its wonders, all of its magnis magnificent design came out randomly and by chance, you really need to open up your eyes. And this is what I want to get, to get off my chest, chest. I pray that you will accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And also in the description, uh, in the description box of this message, and in the description box of this video, um, uh, I have a message about the end times. Please spread that message. We need to warn people about the rapture, tribulation, second com coming. Many people are still not warned and we need to warn as many people as we can. And uh, God bless you and all glory to God and I pray that you'll come to know Jesus. I'll pr I pray that you'll repent. I'll pray, I pray that we'll see you. We, the brothers and sisters in Christ, will see you in the kingdom of heaven. I don't want to see a single soul perish. You can repent right now. You can get right with God right now. I mean, don't be caught up in in the world so much. Some people, they're, they're hours a day watching TV and they're on Twitter and all that stuff when they're not repenting. Please, get right with God first. That's the most important thing. Getting right with God. I don't want to see your soul perish. I want to see you in the kingdom. Please, get right with God. Thank you. Thanks for listening and all glory to God, like I said.